Welcome back to Fatal Frame. Had myself some scrambled eggs. I'm caffeinated. And, um... A, uh, a little vision called Game Facts came up and whispered in my ear, Dave, you're a dumbass! You... I either sequence broke last time or... Uh, the game glitched and didn't trigger a cutscene. And hopefully my quick saving last session instead of hard saving isn't about to bite me in the butt. Let's find out. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, so, turns out... Went to the right area, but... Like I said, might have sequence broke, because we went somewhere. But remember when Observatory Man came out and then went to the observatory? Did I go out before or after that? Because that's where we're supposed to go. Because for all this game's faults, and it's got a lot, there is one thing about it that I do think is handled very well. And it's a series staple, as far as I know. I don't I don't remember if 4 had any particular nonsense, but... It's, uh... Using ghosts and other, you know, noticeable things. Whoa! Oh, this is a fight! Damn you in the ass! Hey! Who the kiss are you? Oh, hell no! I'm not putting up with that shit. But anyway, when the uh, little birdie spoke to me about where I was supposed to go, I also caught wind of things like uh, Night 3 or whatever having a shit ton of ghosts attacking you and all. Whoa! So. Whoops. He seems... I'm just gonna use 14s. I do not care. The one thing I can't move anymore. Oh. We're getting a full charge! No, we're not. Oh, well, maybe we did. 671 points. Eat my ass! Uh, Observatory. I mean, I'm actually kind of glad that uh, I saved there, or whatever. Because, hey, at least it's not a long walk. And the uh, Narukami Shrine, or whatever, where I went and got uh, the Tormented, or whatever. That was... That was at least... Uh, that, that was actually kind of a side quest. You don't have to go up there for anything. So... Okay, I went out here too early. It also advises you to immediately turn around and run back in as soon as this cutscene is over. Otherwise, you'll you have a high chance of getting attacked by Broken Neck, which less annoying than blinding, but shit. A beautifully motion-captured scene. Mom! Huh! Oh. I thought her face changed. That's gotta suck. Now, my mom's no longer with us, but, uh... She didn't hang herself, I'll put it that way. I can only imagine what it's be like finding that shit. So, now we go to the Cherry Atrium. Colloquially known as the Backyard. Which means we're gonna look at the map again. Uh, the Anteroom. That's one way we can get there. And I swear, like, I... 
Uh, the Anna room really is kind of a... Not the one I just clicked on. Actually, can you get there from here? No! If I find the Anna room really creepy, it's just A, it's dead silent, and B, I just expect there to be some kind of ghost in there, and we're talking like, like, jump out, boo, or whatever. Because this game is a lot more jump scare heavy. I say that! Fatal Frame 2 and 3 both have their respective sort of big fat fuck you moments. But this one has cheaper jump scares. I say fully aware of some of the bullshit in the other games. So, now that we know where we're go, Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost had a shit fit, because I thought I, I, uh... Oops. Why was she facing that way? You dumbass. But yeah, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Now, everything beyond this point, I am completely clueless. It's like, go here, pick this up. And then what? Moon something? Huh? Bald, bald, bald. Sucks when your life flashes before your eyes, but what happens if it flashes before your eyes in low definition? Uh-oh. Oh shit, boss fight. Okay, so we're gonna save. And we're gonna probably fail a few times. Damn you. And I should be using some other, whoops, I should be using some other film. I mean, I realize that right now is like, I should be using stronger film because I do not want to have this drag out. And Fatal Frame 2 aggressiveness seems to be getting me killed a lot. Alright. I ain't using 74. Fuck you. Oh, behind. Alright. Come on. The fuck? No! I don't know what she's doing. Oh. Ha! Dumbass! Well, shit. Now I'm not gonna get a full charge. Come on. Oh. Come on, presumably, Yai. I'm just gonna, yeah, back the fuck up. Waiting for zero shots doesn't seem to be a reliable strategy in this game. Might is right, I guess. Oh, fuck you. I had that. What's well, on the ground? Box film. Neat. Probably kind of wasted that pickup because I didn't use that many. Oh, fuck you. I don't care. Dolls. Or family photo something. I don't really recognize... I don't recognize that particular doll stand other than potentially it just being uh, just in the doll room. Where did your daughter go? You know what? I, I don't really know. Yai's death note. Yeah. Damn it. 
Uh, I hate the fact. Uh, not only did Yai die, she fucking hung herself. That's tragic. But then again, self strangling as opposed to uh, um, fratricide. Uh, dear Ryozo, it's all my fault. It's all because I left Mikoto. Uh, I let Mikoto. Let Mikoto, let Mikoto use the camera that day. I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. And now evil spirits have gone and taken her away from us. It's all my fault, I'm sorry. Found some photos when I opened up the album. Demon tag girls. Family photo. Kirie. Um, Kirie in those photos and whatever really do look like... Uh, the freaking jump scares from the house, and the uh, the sequel to the house called the house two. <sighs> Wasn't there other pickups around the ground, or was it just the death note and the box of film? So, damn it! Where do we? I'm gonna try the doll room. And we pick- wait, we picked up the moon key. And we don't want to hang around too much lest we be hounded by the ghosties. There's nothing there. That up there's broke- or the, uh, shrine, whatever the fuck that is. That pool house right there. That's got a broken mechanism. So, we either need to go here and do something doll related, or, or, find out where we're supposed to go. Oh! Hell yeah! I need to take a picture of it, but I'm using the wrong film for that. Take a picture of that. A doll that is covering her eyes appears in the middle of the row of dolls. So we have essentially two solutions. And no lead. It's the same one. Hang on. Damn it. We picked up that thing, that three squared, what looked like a key card. So, where does that go? Oh, brilliant. Look who it fucking is. It's my biggest fan. If you were worth more points, this fight would actually be useful. Damn it! And my reaction time is that of a geriatric turtle! patient, be patient. I'm glad it hurts. Actually, she's worth a decent amount of points. At least if you don't suck. Which I do. So, where are we in terms of herbal meds? We got 11. Let's go ahead and not let it go down to 10. we go ahead and do the save state because we're close to a save point. Uh, don't need 14 film. Now we're... Uh, probably the Koto room. Because if the doll room was showing that the, um... Why would it be in a Koto room? Hang on, I have no idea now. Those look like PS1 models, what the hell? 
Actually, the one on the right looks like Edna Mode. Ladies and gentlemen, I might be the biggest idiot I think who has ever played Fatal Frame. Because I took a picture of dolls. What do you do when you take picture of dolls? Or really do anything in Fatal Frame? You click on it. Because... Obviously, this is a puzzle, but I didn't click to see. Wait, what? Many Japanese dolls. Four dolls look to the middle. They're like the dolls in the photo. The stand is locked. Okay. I'm still an idiot. But I'm at least... Uh, what the <laughs> doll room? You can take a picture. You can take a photo of the dolls on the right, then examine the ones on the left. You have to choose one of the five dolls to put on the platform. Huh? What's over here? Oh! Who's in the front or the back? What? Will you tell me, video game? That doesn't even make sense. Which one is... Which direction is considered the front? Uh, is... Is this the front? What... What's the orientation of front? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, I farted, and now I'm gonna go die in a fire. Well, so are you. Who is in the front of the back? Well, the middle one's gonna be in front of everything at the back, so I'm taking you. You reckon if I just keep doing this, eventually I'll either fail it or get it right? Okay. It wouldn't let me pick that one for a little bit. So what does it mean by fr Okay. We going east! Oh, east? I thought I meant weast. I'll get it eventually. You're in front of her, but she since she's technically the leader of the ass end, that may also mean that she's the one who's in the front of the back, because she's at the back. Is this like a double negative thing? Because, you know, like, if you... Uh, two, my... Two, 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 two? Take this bitch! Well, I guess it's the one in front! I don't... Woo! One of the dolls came off of the stand. Now you see, that puzzle, there was a similar puzzle in Silent Hill 2, involving some kind of like, murder dude, and you had to choose, like, who was the murderer? And, <laughs> if you failed that, then you got a bunch of enemies that spawned in. Hmm. When I put on the Kagome doll on the pedestal, the drawer opens slowly. It's a soft closed drawer by Rolls Royce or Toyota. There's a strange mask inside the drawer. Angry mask! Somewhere else. Yeah! And I am 90% sure I can't quick save for some reason. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but I'm 90% sure this goes in the foyer. 
And reason I say that is that's where we got the furious looking mask photo. So we going backtrack. Back to the lab again. Uh oh, back to the lab again. Rope! <laughs> Rope a dope! But hey, that's a pretty damn good indication this is where we're supposed to go. So yeah, going to every single room, and like every single night, takes a while, probably a little annoying, but at the same time, uh, if you know where you took uh, the individual pictures, like the furious mask, then when you see shit like this, or when you pick that shit up, you put the angry mask on there, because you already knew where you were going. Now, similar to that demon tag scroll thing, those only rotate one direction. I'm sure, there's a lot of girls who would want to rotate one direction. <laughs> talking ghosts. Huh, the talking dead. That's gonna be pillar with a mask hanging on it, shows in the photo. Neat! Put that photo in my file. So... What is this? Door seems to be locked, but I don't see a keyhole. Ah! I do remember how that works. This, not so much. Okay, um... What's the word, bird? Oh, damn you. Okay. That orb just wasn't gonna say anything? I... A sad mask is hating... Is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Having to put on, take off, and generally... Fuck around with the masks, I remember that. In fact, we're gonna go get the angry mask so we can have it on our person and use it if or when we need it. Which I think we're gonna need it very, very soon based on that photo that we got. But also, that seems to be the, the door we need to go through. So, we're gonna go explore the other hallway. Look at the door, Miku! Good lord! <sighs> Angry mask. I got it! Hopefully it's not contagious. Alright. So we've got... That weird looking motherfucker. Joyful mask. Gonna take that motherfucker. And if I remember right, yeah, I think that mask is just there, or that head face thing is there to solve a puzzle. Because remember the max mask of reflection, where in that one file it was it was uh, it takes on the form of the wearer. Well, that's a face. So, in my mind. If I remember right, you put the mask of reflection on that, that way it'll, it'll, uh, act as a mask. Must be something in this mansion. I let my freaking Coca-Cola sit there so long it sweated and just pissed water all over me. Damn it. Isn't the blinding mask just here? Because I swear this is the mask room. This also kind of looks like... I don't know why, I just got like Ocarina of Time vibes. I don't even know if that's a better description. Old book on the floor, it's folklore's research documents. The masks and their significance and rituals. The binding ritual and the demon tag ritual are performed by the Himuro family master. The master wears a mask when he performs a ritual. This is probably to eliminate the maiden of all worldly connections. <laughs> but dad, it, but, but sir, you have the arms of my dad and the breath of my uncle. 
Uh, all participants of the ritual are family members, meaning the one who is sacrificed and the one who performs the sacrifice must be directly related. My theory is that the mask serves to eliminate the maiden's attachment toward her family. Gouging out the eyes of the demon in the blind ri demon rituals may have similar meaning. I said it before, this game's got... Whoops. This game's got a far... It has got a far meaner ritual. Like, it's a more intricate ritual than Fatal Frame 2. And if there's any... If there's any real... Minor complaint, I would say, about Fatal Frame 2 is... I... Okay, don't have the mask. It's the fact that its ritual is a lot less intricate or interesting than than uh, the sequels. But as a bit of a compensation, I think uh, joyful. Nope. Okay, so. Oh, we're gonna get attacked here soon. We're lingering way too long. What's the symbol here? Don't have the mask that opens that door. I think this is... Don't have the mask. Oh, shit, what's that? Oh, fuck! We're getting into some shit today. But yeah, I do not remember which mask goes on that door. Whoa, hang on. Oh, you go around! Grandpa's got the ham radio on again. <laughs> this woman spoke out against her husband. How does she plea? Who gives a shit? Ha! Women don't have rights in this family. <laughs> Need, nor do they have eyes. Imagine if after that she just started complaining about her ears and be like, oh fuck, we just blinded a retard. This is gonna suck! Okay, what film do I have? Because I guarantee fucking tea I'm gonna wanna get rid of this bitch soon. And, um, have a little safety net. Okay, be very careful. Calm and cool, collected, careful. We're just gonna play Ring Around the Rosies. We're gonna look for L'Orange. I'm stuck on the center pillar. This fight sucks. I fucked that up. And I double fucked it with a side of toast. Oops. I think I'm walking right into a hell of an oopsie. Achoo! Oh no, what happened? What? Fuck this ghost!
All right. Took me uh, three other tries, but we did the fight without taking any damage. And now I think my controller wants to have a career in being a fluffer because... Actually, I don't know if you could hear that. Yeah, it's just rumbling. But it's not stopping. <laughs> it feels good on my testicles. Okay, so now what? We have, you know, hole in the wall. Happy mask! Rip that shit down. I think a door just locked. Okay, that is the mask we need to open up this door over here. And as long as we very carefully move around, backtrack, and all that shit, should be able to, uh... Should be able to navigate without too much trouble. Ooh, this is different. There are several pieces of paper on the ground. Mafuyu's notes. Uh, I felt some especially powerful energy off that woman in the white kimono. I think she's probably the one behind this mansion's curse. I have to appease the, her spirit somehow before anyone else falls victim to this mansion. I have to find out what exactly is keeping her drawn back to this world. And why did she let me go when she had me? Maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, tell me what. I'm taking this fucking mask. Actually, I should have taken all the masks. Yeah, we're gonna probably run into a stupid door pretty soon. I'm gonna have to go all the way back, get the fucking masks. Something on the floor. Oh, nice. Alright, what's up with this? Some other place shows in the... You know, if there's one thing I remember about this game, it's this room. Or this area. Wait a minute. I know this place! Hell yeah! Lamp hallway, bitch! I, I think, if I remember correctly, this is the room that had the, uh, second most annoying fight in this fucking game. A shiny yellow stone is set into the surface of the huge stone monument. Huh. We already solved the puzzle. Something is reflecting the light of my own flashlight. You know... Her flashlight found a spirit stone. My flashlight found a kidney stone. Yeah, that fart sound is pretty appropriate for that statement. All right. So I've got gold stone creamery. And... I managed to get lost in a square-shaped room. Shut up. I understand how some people prefer this... Oh my gosh, where am I? Where am I going? Who am I? Okay. Some people prefer having the singular mansion design, and I think that's one of the reasons why 3 had, a, you know, just one location, essentially. But uh, I like the village in Fatal Frame 2 best, just because there's more variety, plus a lot of outside space. All right. Progress bar incoming. Let's see... How many moves will it take to get things places? Those effectively have to swap. This one, this one will take two moves. This just takes one move. 
This is the one on the bottom is minimum of one. So two, one, one, two. Need to move that one. Need to move the one on the bottom to get the one on the left. Need to move the one on top first. I, th I should work. I think that's a pretty sound strategy if you ask me. Uh, go down, please. Thank you. Then we move. I'm going to try not to move that one, although that's literally impossible. Oh, I can move it back. Yeah. I can just move it back. Well, I fucked that up. So, we got... Instead of trying to quickly complete it, we'll just do that. Uh, that should not move. And this one goes down here. This one goes over there. Neat! I need to start paying attention to the carvings that I've got, or the one that's going to be inserted. Because... There's a... Knowing what, where something's supposed to be means it... Probably make it a little easier. There's a giant wooden carving of Buddha here. Its right foot is damaged. There's a giant wooden carving of Buddha here. Its right hand is damaged. Uh, left hand, and that's gonna be left foot. Which makes no fucking sense, because... That would, e that would make either whoever the representation facing this... Actually, that's probably it would be facing kind of this way, possibly hung upside down, but probably just sort of on their back in that orientation. There's a strange white mask on what looks to be an altar. Mask of reflection. Balls. Rico Drome. Also, I need to quick save or something. I don't... What is it with these fucking ghosts thinking that Fatal Frame protagonists are related to Yai and Sai? Woo! Get mounted! All these fucking ghosts have some sort of teleportation ability and I'm not happy about it, but... Come on. Come on, Mr. Man. Make your move. But it wasn't moved enough. Ooh. Coffee. Oh, I didn't get anything for that. Fuck you. So we got the Mask of Reflection. Then attacked. And... Yeah. I mean, I suppose that's as good of an incentive as anything. Controller still has not stopped vibrating, so... By the end of this particular session, I'm pretty sure my hand is gonna be NUMB! Oh, I'm gonna put Type 14 back on. The mask switching thing is 
annoying. But hey, the Master of Reflection is essentially a master key. Which is useful for a very obvious reasons. It's like, you know, we, <laughs> Mask of Reflection? Well, you, uh, you put that literally anywhere. Uh, happy mask. So that door's unlocked now, and we have the mask, which encapsulates all. So we can go throw that on there and see what lies beyond the door. And I, re I remember, just stuff like this, just the process of getting the masks and running around, it's a single location, all this other stuff. This game doesn't really seem to go many places all that quickly. Like, these games are already slow-paced, but they're, uh... This one in particular is very slow on the uptake, and I think, you know, in comparison, even something like Fatal Frame 2... Is at least a little quicker. Three! Three's pacing is really cool to me. Because it's, uh... It, it's always putting new information on you. But not all the information is reliable. So you're sort of reading it. You're doing all this stuff. You can come up with little theories. And then the game concludes and you're like, Damn! A uh, pretty paper shade lamp is lit. Huh, you're damn right it's lit! The walls are glazed. The whole room looks beautiful. I mean, yeah, I'll concur. It's a damn good looking room. Especially for, you know, 2001. Oh, peace. Got the blinding mask. There are huge stakes through the E's. This mask is different from the others. Maybe it's supposed to be used somewhere else. Well, no shit. We already know where the fuck this thing goes. So, now, oh shit, man in hall. Okay, where's he going? Where's he going? You don't say, you completely unenthusiastic twat. So, what this is doing is directing us back where we came from. But I'm going to piss out a theory here and say it's probably not going to be the most efficient. Although, looking at it, I'm full of shit. Or am I? I mean, having to get, go through, like, the square garden, yeah. All right, Moni Groni was right. Why do I get the sick feeling there might be an omen on this thing? It has a furious expression. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just... I thought, what if... It says something like, the, the legend says... That those who wear, who possess the angry mask are said to be haunted by demons. And that I'd just be walking around with, you know, Long John Silver floating around with his dick out, just humping the air, going, me, and then, you know, ectoplasmic goo all over the place. Man, I'm nasty. I need to shut up. What's with all the bloody handprints? Batman Arkham Asylum almost got an M rating. Like, look at... Oh, fucking shit! Look at, um... The, uh... Like, the previews from Game Informer and what have you. And there's blood and shit all over the walls. Like, it looked like Manhunt 2. But... Then, by the time it was released, all of the Joker writing and handprints and stuff were... Painted green. 
But those early Game Informer screenshots, it was... It looked like a psychological... Or it looked like a fucking horror game. And then um, they said, they're aiming for a teen rating. And I was wondering as a, as a kid there about... Or not a kid, I was a teenager. I was like, well, it's a teen rated game, but it's got a lot of blood in it. That's fucking sweet. Then that didn't fucking happen. Oh. Man, I don't know what the fastest way to round this motherfucker is. Nope. Oh, hang on. Oh, well, I guess it's not. That's not important. You can repeat and reread just about everything in this game, except apparently the descriptions of the bloody handprints. Controller has not stopped vibrating. Alrighty. Since we know where we're going, I'm gonna save state before going in this door because if there's a save point, which means potential broken neck. And we got more whispering. There's a couple locations that really love talking to me. Ooh, that felt like a frame drop. Like I said in part one, I'm, I had to di download a ROM because my external disk drive cannot read the PS2 disk fast enough for it to be playable. What the fuck? Yay! Do you say yay yeah, every time you move blink and shit? Where the hell is he? Oh, he's right there. Hey, this motherfucker is annoying. If I turn around, he's charging me. I'm a pissed. Get away! I can't see you. you fucking stank ass motherfucker. Yeah, you cough up blood. I hope you died of lung cancer. Oh, that was ill-advised. Oh, look at that pretty face! <laughs> uh, occasionally shit like that works. Well, that was a risky quick save, but fuck it, did it anyway. I kind of wish I was using 37s, but hey, if I'm not, then I'm not. Whoa, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Sometimes being a little more aggressive and moving toward them keeps them from disappearing because then they just immediately want to attack your ass. Close that gap. There, I like that there's a sound cue for when they warp behind you, but it's not... doesn't solve the problem of it happening at all. <laughs> you don't say. 28,000. I think we're waiting on 36,000 to uh, unlock the... Not unlock. You know what I mean. Now, upgrade. That's the word I was looking for. Man, I've got... I, my brain don't work. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised I haven't accidentally cli climbed up and down a ladder thus far. Because that was something that, at least on one playthrough, I don't remember exactly if this happened to me whenever I played this, but I saw one playthrough where the guy kept accidentally activating the ladder, and that animation just nearly drove him nuts. Yeah, 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 I wonder what goes here. We've been here before. Mm-hmm. 
No. They told me for years the kindergartners would get me. Well, that time has come, and I'm still ill prepared. Getting real tired of this bitch. Don't run. Don't walk either. In fact, just jump off a cliff and fucking kill yourself. And that was not a zero. We're dead. We're, we're just... We're not getting anywhere with this. We're about to get fucked. Or not. You know what? That actually worked out. But just not giving a shit and taking photos like a motherfucker. I know. I've been looking for it for like 17 hours. You reckon they have to disinfect that shit every time they use it? Or do they just not care? The door! Yeah, sounds like a great place to be. Let's go! <laughs> well, can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. I got to go through it. Is this blood purple or is it just so dry it changed color? What a coinky dink that a, that a guy who was carrying the mirror got crushed by rocks but fell in such a way that the mirror could still be reacquired. That is loud. Oh no, it's Kirie in a cutscene. Oh, now we got the zombies or re-deads from uh, Ocarina of Time. Sweet Christmas, I can't see shit! YouTube compression, have fun with this one. Oh my gosh. Not only is Miku ca uh, liable to get stuck on shit when she can see, but look at that. Good lord. I can see better with my eyes closed while I'm drunk. Let's see. Which is worse? Um, one twenty or well, one? How old was she? I want to say eighteen. That way, I'm not legally blind. That's why I'm not legally culpable. One eighteen-year-old or eighteen one-year-olds? <sighs> Neat. Okay. So we've got ourselves huh, the next save point. Woo! Five hours even plus 32 seconds. Neat. So we are on night three. And I believe whenever I was eyeballing the walkthrough, it said there was only four nights. So, with the final night being fairly short. Like, there's really only a couple things you even do. So, yeah, we're actually pretty much on our way to getting this sucker beat. Um, in like, what is it, session five? 
I mean, we could be done in another, in just another two s sessions. And since I'm uploading these as pretty much uncut videos with some edits and jokes or whatever else. Yeah, that's only seven videos as opposed to 24, 25, however many in Fatal Frame 2 and 31 for Half-Life Alex. Fuck, I hate uploading all those little individual videos i do prefer these longer ones which means i should probably be live streaming because even if nobody's watching i'd just be doing this and then someone might show up and go ha ha he funny or you know just call me various insults and then get banned <laughs> i don't ban people anyway i don't know what i'm talking about but whatever new chapter tomorrow uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I am Dave. Any and all feedback is appreciated. Be that like or comment or dislike. I don't give a shit. And I will see you next time. Maybe if I put 10 seconds between statements, I'll sound even smarter. <laughs>